Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, June 24th, 2013. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I need to shave, and I'm your Monday vlogger, B. This week's question, um, it's an interesting one. It, it has to do with becoming, well, I'll use the word in the question, tired. But it's a little more complicated than that. The question is, how do you get past tired and keep going? You know, we all come to a point in our journeys where we just get tired. And it's like, I, I, it's hard to explain, but you just get really completely frustrated. And a lot of it is physical. Most of it is mental. But you feel it in every aspect of your life, mentally, physically, emotionally. You feel it in your everyday life. You feel it when you try to get up and go work out. And we have to do things in our lives to keep ourselves going. Um, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Personally, you know, I have a few things that I'll share with you today. Um, when I decided to have weight loss surgery, I'm going to backtrack just a little bit. When I decided to have weight loss surgery, I was at my wit's end. You know, I I had nowhere else to go. And I knew that where I was going was not where I wanted to be. And that I had one more option, and it was weight loss surgery. And I did it, and I love it. But when when that, that feeling, and I've been through this a few times, and, and I don't mean just for the day or the week. I mean several months where I just was just like completely exhausted with the whole thing with counting calories and logging my food and 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 every little detail that you have to keep track of and I think that comes from well one of two things really you know for me what I discovered was that I wasn't doing it right all right you know we get this list of rules and we see all these these folks that we communicate with on a regular basis, and you know they have their log books and they take their pictures, and 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 they they do all these things, their little phone apps and and all that stuff. And for lots of people, that works. That do that due diligence, that that um, that busy work, is what keeps them on track. It's what keeps them motivated. You know, oh, how how close can I get to my goal today? Type thing, and and that works for people. I found that that did not work for me. I wanted to live a lifestyle. I wanted to get up in the morning, execute my routine, go throughout my day, do what I wanted to do, and at the end of the day, look back and go, I won, or I kind of sucked today. And that took a lot of training. It took a lot of mental training, a lot of planning ahead, uh, a lot of getting into situations where I was way over my head and made some bad decisions and going back and reanalyzing them. And, but eventually, I got into a, a lifestyle that works for me when I stay on top of it. Um, and that's when I get into trouble. But that's another story for another time. I think the thing is to keep yourself motivated. You know, and I, I think I might have mentioned this I know I mentioned it on my personal channel a few times, but we, we, we go through this phase when we decide to have weight loss surgery where we, we really reach rock bottom and, and we in our personal lives and we go, this is what I need to do because XYZ is just too important to me to let myself go. You know, whether it's my kids, my life, my family, my spouse, myself, whatever it is, whatever that motivation is. And that kind of has to, it doesn't kind of, it has to be. That has to be the forefront of your journey. Every single day when you get up, you have to think about that. And, and, and you know, when you're too tired to go to the gym, that's got to be your motivation. That's where you have to reach deep down and you have to go, ah, I got to go because, you know, my family is too important for me to sit here and get fat again. You know, or, or I'm too important for me to, to let myself go to shitty, uh, to crap again. I'm sorry, I forgot what channel I was on. Um, and you really have to dig deep. For that you know it's not easy to do this is not the easy way out we've discussed this many 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 times you know and you really have to keep your life filled and it's kind of funny because I know I sound like I'm repeating myself but you really have to keep 
your life filled with things that keep you motivated, that keep you focused, whether it's goals or you know your loved ones or your food log, whatever it is that works for you. Um, for me, it's become a lifestyle now. You know, as long as I I eat what I know I should be eating, I work out when I know I'm supposed to be working out, and I drink my water, good things happen for me. And that's where I want it to be. I don't have to to, to do all these other little things. But I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. But being able to live that lifestyle keeps me from getting tired. I, how can you get tired of living your life? I'm very happy with where I am. I'm very happy with what I'm doing. And I love getting up every morning and living my life. And that keeps me from being tired. Now, when I was tired, because it's happened to me before, you kind of get into this rut, this negative rhythm. And one thing leads to another and leads to another. And this is where your motivation comes in. This is where you have to to dig down, where you have to just, you have to make yourself do it. You know, you have to, you have to own it. You have to say, ah, this is not what I need to be doing. I've got to get up. I've got to go to the gym. I've got to drink my water today. You have to force yourself to do it, even if it's painful. Even if you don't want to. Even if you have to put everything else aside, you have to make it a priority. And you have to do it. Because it's the only way it's going to happen. It's not going to fix itself. You know, it's not like you can just go take a nap and wake up and you're fine. You can't just take a break from your journey and then come back and everything's fine. You have to figure out, why am I feeling this way? Why do I feel burdened? Why am I exhausted? And you've got to make those changes in your life to make that better. It's not a phase, this tired thing. It's not a phase that you're going through. It's not something that will just go away. It's something that you're doing, and it may not even be related to your weight loss journey. It may be related to something completely else, something completely different. But it's not something that just goes away. It's something that you're doing that's not allowing you to be happy. And that's why you feel overburdened. That's why you feel tired. I've been there, believe me. And you've got to find those things. And while you're doing that, while you're doing that soul searching, it's tough. It's tough to get up and go to the gym or run or walk or whatever it is you want to do. And that's where those accountability partners come in. That's where my people on my phone, my pocket peeps come in. That's where the guys at the field come in and say, hey, let's go play paintball or hey, let's go run. Or, let's go do this. That's where having all that junk food in your pantry and, and throwing it out and not keeping that stuff in your house comes in. That's where all those little things, all those details come into play. Um, help keeping you focused when you don't want to be focused. And all those little components together, will, they won't keep you from being tired. But they'll keep you focused. They'll keep you motivated. And, and finding that core inspiration, finding that one thing that drives you, and keeping that, keeping that close... And keeping, keeping, keep reminding yourself of that day in and day out. Those things keep me from getting tired. So that's it. That's all I got today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. Have a great week and take care, guys. Bye.